More than a thousand people on the Sun Coast were able to get free health care this weekend thanks to a clinic put on by the group Remote Area Medical. But hundreds of patients had to be turned away. ABC 7's Kate Flexter joins us now to tell us why. Kate. Thanks, Haley. Organizers tell us they could have seen nearly twice the number of patients as they were able to see if it wasn't for one piece of Florida legislation. One by one, patients were seen and treated, all free of charge and regardless of insurance, medical background or citizenship. I think that they stay awake at night, concerned that they may have a significant medical problem. Dr. Bill Colgate was one of hundreds who volunteered time and medical expertise. I think that the most moving aspect for myself, and I think as well as the 400 volunteers, is those that were almost brought to tears by the care they were able to receive without being asked for payment. But the clinic was still understaffed and organizers were forced to turn patients away, only treating the first 600 people that arrived. We gave out all the tickets within 20 minutes. So there were people who had come and spent the night with the hopes of being seen. They had to be told we just didn't have the capacity. And a lot of them became rightfully very upset about that. Dr. Richard Connard says that's largely thanks to one Florida law that prohibits out-of-state doctors, dentists, and vision professionals from crossing state lines to treat patients here in Florida. They make their whole vacation plans around coming and helping. And yes, there was a whole population of professionals who would love to have come. But Connard is hoping to see a change to that law that would make an exception in the case of free health clinics. We have to find a way to allow licensed, highly vetted, uh, excellent uh, practitioners to come into our state uh, for a weekend and work with us to take care uh, of this very needy population. Dr. Connard and his colleagues plan to advocate for a change to that legislation in Tallahassee.